Hi everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I am so grateful that you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join us here. Today I'm going to be unboxing um, the pieces that I ordered from the men's fall winter Louis Vuitton collection for 2022. So while they are men's pieces, um, I'll be unboxing four pieces today. Two of them are mine. I bought them for me and two of them are for my partner. Um, but he's away camping and we're going to unbox them anyway. So <laughs> he can find out about it when he watches my video later. But we're going to unbox them today um, because I really want you to see these pieces. They are beautiful pieces. This collection is selling so fast. So I bought all four of these pieces direct from the run. Way. I paid for them and in full and bought them. Oh no, I didn't pay for them in full. I paid a deposit. I paid half the amount in, I want to say January. As soon as it walked the runway, I told my sales associates which pieces I wanted. I paid um, a deposit of half at the time. And now that they've been released, they were they came in specifically for me. They were pre-allocated to me. So I didn't have to worry about um, things selling out and being in a mad frenzy with everybody else. Um, there has since been a jumper that I looked at that I wanted. Um, but as my sales associate is texting me, I'm saying, okay, yes, I'll take that in the medium. He's like, no, it's just sold. Um, and then he's like, okay, we'll order it for you. No, I can't order anymore. They're gone. So that's how quickly these pieces have moved. So if you're thinking you want a, you want a piece of the men's fall winter 2022 collection, Virgil's last collection, please, please get yourself in store, find yourself a sales associate and get on it right now because these pieces are going to fly out the door. Um, people feel a real connection and a real loss with Virgil and they will collect these pieces because of that um, and that alone. So yeah, get yourself in store. So let's unbox the pieces guys and let's have a look at them. So start with the little one. Oh. So a little box. So this one's not for me. This is one of my partners. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so pull this out. And this is the first time I'm seeing them in real life. So this is a big moment. <gasps> Look at it. So this is the pocket organizer. And my partner collects pocket organizers. He has quite the collection now. And this one has such a funky design. Oh, it's beautiful on the inside too. But... What will drive him nuts is that it is this shape. It's um, it's not a standard rectangle shape, which means that it won't naturally sit with all his other ones because he's a little OCD like me, um, which is why we work well together. So that will drive him a little bit nuts, but I know that he will appreciate the design absolutely and the beauty in this. So this is this um, out of focus design that they did for this collection. And some people have gone, it looks like a misprint and other people have really loved it. I really love it. I think it's great. It gives you Louis Vuitton vibes without being monogram Louis Vuitton. So yeah, I love this. It's just beautiful. So pocket organizers are fantastic. They are from the men's collection, but women can absolutely use them as card holders. Like I said, my, my partner has so many of these. I'll have to do a pocket organizer collection video one day for you guys because he has many of these um, and he swaps them out all the time. But they do, they'll hold, um, you could probably get about six or seven cards in here, maybe even eight. Um, so they hold a fair bit. So if you're after um, a card holder, the pocket organizer is a great option from Louis Vuitton for you. So that's my first piece. Well, it's not mine, but for the purposes of this video, it is. <laughs> um, and he doesn't care if I take the ribbon off, so it's all good. So we'll do his other piece and then we'll do my pieces. So his other piece is very heavy. Oh, that comes in this box. And he has a collection of these as well. So 
So under Virgil, um, from the time Virgil got there, Virgil started making this particular design and then it's been released with all his collections um, that have been have come through subsequently after this. But the very first one that we got was the watercolour, this one, in this. And then I think my partner's got about six, this might be seven that he's got. In case you can't tell, it's a skateboard. And let's get it open for you guys. And the skateboard itself is not that heavy, but wow, is that box heavy. Oh, it's very cool. All right, are we ready? So this is the top of the skateboard. And then when we flip it over, it has that beautiful floral design that was a major part of this collection. And the jumper I wanted that they couldn't get in the medium for me was this design. It was all florals. And I thought it would have been a beautiful hoodie but they just, they just flew out the door, guys. They just walked themselves out the door. Everybody wanted pieces from this. So, yes, my partner collects the skateboards. Um, and like I said, we have quite a few now. Um, and when his studio is finished that we're currently renovating, um, these will all go up on the wall. They are art. We're not using these. There's no writing of these. These are art in our house. Um, so he will display them in his studio and they will become art pieces. And he did use to skate when he was younger. We are now too old for that. <laughs> um, unless you're Tony Hawk or a professional skateboarder that gets to a point where you are too old and he is now at that point. Um, he often jokes, I'm going to go ride it. And I say, there is no chance in hell that you're riding these. They are worth far too much money. They are not to be written. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, all right, that box is super heavy. All right, so then the two pieces from the collection that I got for my partner that he wanted. So let's open the pieces that are mine. Is that it? <laughs> Which one do I want to do first? <laughs> All right, so let's do this one first. It's really just potluck. I, I don't know which is which. I know what they are, but I don't know which is which. So let's open it up. Okay. Get the dust bag out. Oh, good. I was hoping they'd come out in this order. <laughs> All right, so we've got a dust bag. We open it up. And... So this is the something hobo. Uh, I really looked the name up beforehand, Meredith. Um, oh, there we go. Take that off. And this, by the way, has many holes. <laughs> so you can make it as long or as short as you want to. And right, now we're right. Okay. So this is the hobo bag and I love it because once again, it's this design. It's not in your face, but it's definitely reminiscent of it. And it's a great crossbody bag. Oh, there we go. And a good size. And because it's from the men's range, it will suit lots of people of lots of different sizes. Um, and it's treated bichetta on it, okay? So we're not panicked about this one getting wet. It's all good. So open it up and we have... Oh, oh tag. So you've got a little luggage tag. If you want to get that hot stamped, Louis Vuitton do that for free. And we have the shoulder bit, so I'll have to put that on the strap. And it is all lined and just one big hole inside there is a slip pocket at the back and that's it there's no zipper compartments no nothing so it does have um, a clip and a toggle over there so you could 
put a much shorter strap on if you wanted to. This strap is permanently on there, so you can't take it off. Plus, it has that there, which I'm imagining is where the tag goes. So that's where I'll put the tag. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a cool bag. It's just a cool messenger bag. So men, women, who cares? If you like it, buy it. I just love it. I think it's super, super cool. Um, I'm super happy to have Virgil pieces um, in my collection because I am a true collector. I feel the need to have these pieces for that reason. Um, I believe that they are collector's pieces now. Um, but yeah, it's just a super funky design. And Louis Vuitton have done this design before. I am sure that this has been drawn from the archives and they've just put, in a new, put a new spin on the canvas for this collection, which is another reason I loved Virgil because he really did pull from the archives and look at what had been done previously and then make it his own. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful piece and a great size. So that's that one. One more to go. This one I'm a little excited about. Okay. This one probably isn't going to come as a shock for us a shock to anyone who has seen my collection and seen some of the um, rare and different pieces that I have. So, box. Open it up. Now I haven't seen this in person, so a little excited. You can probably guess what it is. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. <gasps> oh, <laughs> look at it. It's the paint can in red. I got one in red. Seriously, I could have got them in every color, but they weren't cheap. <laughs> so I went with the red. <gasps> oh, I love it. <laughs> And let's see if I can work out it. Oh, that's cool. So the top of it has a little pull tab and you pull that and that's how you open it. And it's all red interior. It's just a big red hole. And it's all microfiber. And then the strap is white. And it can be worn cross body. I have seen pictures of it being worn cross body. And then the hardware on it is all silver. Oh, let's see if I can. So it's still got stickers on it because, you know, that's the way of the world. If I can quickly get these stickers off, I want to show you the handle because oh, it's beautiful. Oh, there we go. Got it. There we go. So if, hopefully this comes up. So you can see it's got the LV pattern actually in the metal which is really cool and this is solid like super solid um, so you've got the sides which was where you're gonna put your um, um, handle you know attach the strap for it but it is cool I love this paint can it fits right in my collection. So I have my Chrysler bag and then I've got the duck and the heart and the coffee cup. So I love these kind of pieces. I think these are just cool. I'm not taking this out on a regular basis. This is not going to be an everyday bag. It, it will be lucky if it ever goes out of the house. It is a collector's piece. I am a collector. This will live on a shelf but it's mine and I really do love it. So a sign of loving a piece is not how much you wear it sometimes. If you're a true collector, a sign of loving a piece is just that you love it enough to have it in your collection. So this is definitely one of those. And like I said, I would have loved all of them. They came in red, green, turquoise, purple, orange, I want to say. Um, and when my sales associate said, what color do you want? I'm like, well, is there a pink? said no there's no pink mirth um so I got the red but I absolutely would have loved the purple and the turquoise and the green as well but oh, so expensive and these are going to be impossible to get now like now that they're out there's just 
yeah you're not you're not going to see a lot of them sitting in stores i don't think so yeah it's just super cute i think so that's my bank can <laughs> my louis vuitton bank can as you do um so that's um my men's fall winter unboxing um for the virgil's last show i will be super interested to see where louis vuitton's menwear menswear goes from here I know they need a new creative director. Um, so far, we've had shows where Virgil has still had input, even though he is not with us anymore. Um, so I will be interested to see who they finally appoint when they appoint someone. Um, Virgil did amazing things with the brand. The brand has come a long way under um, his direction, especially menswear. He really brought in this whole new um, age of client. It, we went from what could have been seen as a little dated and a little older male to young and fresh and new clients. And I really hope that they can keep that energy with the new creative director, because I think he did brilliant things with the, with the brand and yeah, watch this space. Let's see who they bring in. If you have liked today's video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, and if you would like, I'd love you to come follow me over on Instagram because I'm super interactive over there. Things go up in real time. I post lots of pictures of my collection over there. So I'll throw up my handle so you can come follow me. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world today that you are having an absolutely fabulous day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.